Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about how to compare numbers written in scientific notation. So what's going to happen is you're going to take some notes with me on the first page, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so let's take a look at this first problem. So we want to know, it says fill in the blank with either greater than, less than, or equals to make the statement true. Okay, so we have to figure out which is larger, 5.25, or, or 5 and 25 hundredths, or 4.1 times 10 to the third power, all right? And really the key of these is converting the numbers that are written in scientific notation into standard form. So I'm gonna change this, which is 4.1 times 10 to the third. I'm gonna take that and multiply it by 10 three times. So it's gonna be 4.1, and I'm gonna add some zeros. So when I multiply it by 10, it becomes 41. Another 10 would be 410, and then a final 10 will be 4,100. So the question is, which number is larger? 5.25 or 4,100? And obviously, 4,100 is larger. So the inequality sign will face this way. All right, here's another one. Here we have 25 hundredths versus 1.1 times 10 to the negative third power. So again, I'm going to change this that's written in scientific notation and put it in standard form. So we have 1.1. And this time, instead of multiplying by 100, excuse me, by 1,000, I'm going to divide by 1,000, because that's what 10 to the negative third is. So I'm going to divide by 10 once, need to add some zeros. I'm going to divide by 10 a second time, then I'm going to add another zero. And finally, divide it by 10 a third time. So we end up with 0 0.0011, which is 11 ten thousandths. So the question is, which is bigger, 11 ten thousandths, or 25 thousandths, and the answer is 25 thousandths. So it goes like this, okay? So the secret of doing these problems is you wanna take the numbers that are written in scientific notation and convert them to standard form, and then you can make the comparison. All right, so when you pause the video and try the your turn now problems, when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do these practice problems. So to save a little bit of time, I've already done some of the work. So the first problem, we're comparing 64,000 to 5.5 times 10 to the fourth power. And if you notice, 5.5 times 10 to the fourth power is equal to 55,000. Because again, I multiplied 5.5 times 10 four times. So that meant that this decimal moved over four spots and that created 55,000. Um, and obviously 64,000 is bigger than 55,000, so the inequality sign will face this way. All right, the second problem we're comparing, six one thousandths with 1.5 times 10 to the negative fourth power. So when I converted the 1.5 times 10 to the negative fourth power into standard form, I ended up with this, which is 15 one hundred thousandths. And 15 one hundred thousandths is definitely smaller than six one thousandths. So the inequality sign would face this way as well. All right, how'd you do?